Up on the rugged Alaska-British Columbia border, Tiger, a great Pyrenees, is hard at work. He and a pack of five other guardian dogs have 1,500 sheep and three shepherds to protect. Jolene Shepherd has the perfect name for her job, but she was raised in Vancouver, not exactly an isolated wilderness area. Tiger and Jolene's summer jobs are a result of lumber companies clear-cutting. Absolutely every tree in a large section of forest is cut down. The companies must then replant, but the tiny new trees are soon smothered by faster-growing vegetation like fireweed. It sucks up sun and rain, leaving a clear-cut full of small dead trees. Chemical spraying is one solution, renting a herd of sheep is another. But put in sheep, and out come the predators. Wolves prowl the forests, and fearless grizzlies are in the bush and on the lumber roads. It's been a tough summer for the bears. Not enough berries due to bad weather, and now 1,500 sheep are eating everything but the newly planted trees. These sheep would make a good meal for a hungry bear. I'm really afraid of bears and cougars and wolves or anything that can eat me. And uh, I don't actually even know why I ever came up for this job, but I really like it now. They may be guardians, but these dogs still work on the hierarchy of the pack. It's not always gentle nuzzles when these six dogs are together. There had been seven dogs until last week. That's when Cuddles was attacked by wolves. He dragged himself back to the flock and Tiger. And this big guy instantly took off and walked over there to check out the dog that was hurt. And I was really worried because of the top doggy thing. I thought maybe then he was attack him or growl at him. And when he got over there, it was the coolest thing. He, in this most nurturing way, looked at the poor beaten up doggy, and he sniffed him all over like he was checking out where poor Cuddles' wounds were. And he looked at the tree line, and he just put on the most impressive show of growling and barking. During the night, Cuddles died, with Tiger watching over him. He had been there the whole time watching him. Just, just incredible. Tiger's the oldest boss dog. He's probably the noblest, toughest, most favorite dog of everybody out here. Um, he's been around for a really long time. And as you can see, he's got all sorts of war wounds on him. This dog last year, he decided it was a good idea to take on a grizzly bear by himself. And uh, this little doggy was able to hold back a thousand pound grizzly bear on his own, which is pretty ferocious, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to mess with a dog that can hold back a thousand pound grizzly bear, but he's just the most lovable dog in the world. Like, all he wants is pets. As a puppy, Tiger was put in with the sheep on a farm. He came out thinking he was a sheep. that to thousands of years to enhance the guardian in him, and what's a dog like Tiger to do? As a great Pyrenees, it was his destiny to guard sheep. But Tiger is starting to show signs of being too old for his job. The terrain's difficult, the weather changeable, the bugs bad, and on top of that, no one but the sheep get much rest. We work on sheep time and we do what sheep want to do, not what we want to do. And unfortunately, sheep like getting up at five o'clock in the morning. The dogs work all night, 
so by morning they're happy to let the shepherds watch for a while. They'll sort of follow the sheep around. They're pretty lethargic. They just sort of lie there, chill out, try and get some sleep. I sometimes think those guardian dogs think they're sheep. Like, they just want to be with the sheep. They truly, truly love the sheep. One thing you have to watch out for when you're feeding these dogs is that as much as they love their sheep, they like their food better. Top dog gets to eat more food, and therefore they'll walk around and inspect the different piles and decide which one looks the best, and then they'll sit down and claim it. The flock often moves to new pastures, and everyone has to follow. This guy, Tiger. I guess this coat looks pretty ratty and dirty, and they're not very well groomed dogs. They're not a bunch of poodles running around out here chasing bears. But uh, these coats are actually fairly important to these dogs. They're act as an armor. They uh, protect the dogs against bug bites and against dog bites or any sort of bites from predators. Unfortunately, the thick coats don't totally protect the dogs from encounters with porcupines. And some dogs like Draco never learn.